All right, so this is the final lesson of the course. If you made it this far, congratulations. You have done the hard part. This is going to be the easiest lesson in the course. In this, we just going to deploy the contract on Robston network, not the main network, because that is going to cost us actual ETH, actual money. But we'll deploy it on Robston. We'll deploy our front end on Vercel, and we'll make it a complete project that you can go ahead and add to your portfolio. Now, after this portfolio, I mean, this shouldn't be the only project in your portfolio, right? This gives you an introduction. I want you guys to make a couple of more projects, you know, take this knowledge that you have learned and go creative with your ideas, build one or two more projects, spend more time and like imp uh, that will improve your portfolio. And at that point, we can help, uh, we'll together figure out a way to get you a job as a blockchain developer. Or if you want to build your own startup, your next, you, you can be, you can totally be the founder of the next big, uh, crypto startup so i would be very happy if you do that but if you also want to uh, go for jobs i will we'll, we'll get on a call basically it, it might not be one-on-one -on -one depending on how many people sign up for the course but i'll try to you know help you guys to holistically you know build an application build your resume and start applying for top crypto jobs uh, around the world so yeah we we'll, we'll discuss more about that but for now let me just show you how to how to how to deploy this thing right so you go to alchemy.com that's the service that we're going to use to deploy it's a very standard industry level service a lot of companies use them uh, we can get started for free you can sign up with google so that's what i'm going to do right now you can sign up with your email whatever you have and once i sign up i i go to uh, i can do ethereum right that's the ecosystem that I want to uh, do this. Create your first app. I can say this is um, Twitter, right? And this is also Twitter. It's not mainnet because, again, mainnet is going to cost us money. We're going to do this in Robston. We could also do this on other networks like Polygon and all this. But right now, we're going to do Robston and we're going to create app. Choose plan free forever, right? Because we don't want uh, to spend money right now. We can skip this. Uh, capped capacities, okay. Um, let's say Twitter. So this is going to set up your Alchemy account. And once this is set up, we can just easily, yeah, so we are here. This is the demo app. This is the staging app. So you can see that the staging app is on the Robston network and this is on Rinkabai. We want to deploy on uh, Robston because that's where we have the fake ETH. So you can copy this key, which is, you can copy this URL basically, right? View key, copy URL. And this URL goes in our hard hat config. So like here in the network section, we'll add a new entry called uh, Robston. And inside of Robston, we want to give it that URL, which is um, this. And we also want to give it uh, accounts, right? So this account should contain the account which will pay for deployment because we need to pay some gas fee right on the robston network my fifth account already has some eth on the robston network i want to give it let me just copy and send some more eth there right so uh i'll send to this address i'll send 0 0.01 eth right let's let's do 0 0.1 eth because like it's okay so it's pending this we can we can see the hash so if you see this it's an option transaction and because robston network is an actual uh, replica of the ethereum main network it actually goes through that whole process which i explained in the first video so this might take a little while meanwhile what we can do is go back to that uh, account which is my account five and here we basically need the keys for this account, right? So what I can do is I can take the keys from here, account details, export private key. You need to type your password for this. So this is the private key. We also had it in the in the deployed node, which we hard hat node. But anyway, uh, this will be done soon. Let me just paste the key here. So this is all we need really. This is now whatever we did to deploy this. So we did, let me go to the contract directory and whatever we did to basically deploy, we'll just change the network from localhost to Robston. And what this will do is it will use this URL and it will use this account to 
deploy our contract. So let me see if this succeeded because I don't know how much gas we would need. Let me check the balance. Nope, it didn't succeed yet. But anyway, let me let me just try anyway. Let's just, let's just go and deploy this. Let's see what happens. See, insufficient funds because again, it doesn't have enough funds to deploy the contract. So uh, let me do this again. Let me see uh, if I can. So it had received some ETH on Jan 31st, which is the last transaction. Let me go back to my first account. Look at what happened to this transaction. It has in fact succeeded. So what is the problem then? Let's see. Oh yeah, now we have it. Let me quickly deploy this again. I hope this goes through. Yeah, so Twitter deployed to this location. So now this is going to be our new contract address, which we will use in our hook. So let me do that here. Let me keep this. Uh, sorry, let me just make a copy of this and comment out the local one. And this is the actual Robston one. You can use the same contract ABI because that hasn't changed. We didn't make any change to the contract. So right now our local web app should actually connect to the main net contract. So as you can see, there are no tweets. I am connected and I can actually write tweet, but I need to have some ETH for this. So let me actually try this. Uh, let me do a P. I am awesome. Uh, Where's my Shiba Inu DP? Yep. I have my Shiba Inu and I'm gonna sign up. This is actual Robston, right? This is not, so as you can see on the top, this is a Robston transaction. So this is going to actually charge me money on Robston. And so I got the hash. Let's, let's look at this uh, hash, right? Let's look at this hash on the Robston transaction explorer. um okay there's nothing yet let me see if that was the right yeah that's that is the hash yeah so this is the transaction that we did and we can see all the details on the Ethereum Explorer, right? We, this was the account that I used. This is the contract. Let me open this in a new tab and we can see exactly what we did. This is the input data. This is how much gas fee we used. And if you look at the contract, you can see that two, two minutes ago, we created the contract, right? And everything is public and this contract can be seen here. And if you do this on the mainnet, just instead of Robston, you would be on the Ethereum mainnet. So that's it. This is how you deploy the contract. My contract is live. This is directly reading from the contract, which is on the Ethereum network. So now I'm signed up. I don't have any tweets, but okay. Let me also write the first tweet, the first tweet, right? So this is done. And I've uh, also basically what I've done is I have pushed this code. Let me push the latest code. Actually, let's just go back and do Get start and get commit add Robston config. Actually, let me not add the private key because uh, it doesn't really matter to me, but still, it's a bad practice. I don't want you guys to know that you can add private keys. So I'll say your private key, which is going to be the account which you use to pay for. For the deployment and i'll add this right so let me do git push um git push origin main 
so that we have the latest code on GitHub. And now basically we want to, what we want to do is we want to go to Vercel and deploy the web app. So let's do that now. All right, so this is my Vercel. Uh, all you have to do is sign up for Vercel and just create a new project. And this is my GitHub. So what I'm going to do is this is the repository I want to add. So I will import this repository and framework is actually Next.js, but since we have a different folder structure, Vercel is not able to automatically uh, determine this. I want, I know that my, this is where my Next.js project is. So that should be enough. We need to add, uh, let's look at what environment variables we had, if, if any, um, next ENV, nothing, right? So we don't need to do anything else. We can just hit deploy and this should just work, right? So Vercel is smart, it is meant for Next.js. We can see the build logs here. It's the first build, it might take a little bit. But anyway, so this is all there is. So uh, at this point, your project contains log files. Okay, yeah, that's okay. I think it should be okay. We shouldn't have a problem with that. But basically my point is that this is how you build your web applications. And right now, what we're gonna see is this web app that we were sort of building on our local will be on the internet and anyone around the world can access it. So when you actually build your DAP, you let's say you deploy your contract on the Ethereum mainnet, and then you deploy your web app on Vercel, and then you can just go and give this link to your friends, buy a domain, I don't know. So uh, look, it already opened my Ethereum. Let me close this. Uh, this is the link. Let me close it and open it here, right? So this is deployed right now. I can literally give you this link. Uh, let me, let me actually, uh, I'll, I'll give you this link and then you can just go play around. This is live. Anyone in the world can access this. You can connect with Ethereum. It would ask this. I will have to connect with this because uh, I have, let me actually just connect with uh, my first account, which I have here, right? I'll have to sign up because I haven't signed up and you can see this is the first tweet that we tweeted. I, I don't like the UI of this because I think the course was getting too long. So I don't want it to be like, boring basically right this is something that you can do and i want you guys to do it so i'll add you guys obviously to the repository create a pull request right improve the ui of this tweet and just make a tweet card or something and let me uh, comment on my diff comment on my uh, github leave a pull request and we'll merge it we'll improve this together right uh, so for now what i can do is let me switch to the other account and see if uh, it, it gives me anything, right? The fifth account actually. And I will connect with this and I will refresh this. And you see, this got my DP and this is the user that I signed up with on my local. So you can know that this is talking to the, to the blockchain, right? And the contract is on the blockchain and this tweet is on the blockchain on the Robson network. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and we have we will build our own community and we'll help each other out and this is it and i think you guys can take this knowledge build other new projects and improve your portfolio further you can go wild with your ideas really it's in crypto anything is possible and anything is okay so yeah create new projects we will also build some new projects i don't know maybe we can build our own token right you can create your own cryptocurrency uh, which will be an erc20 token right so you can just uh, read up read up about ethereum read up about hard that and this should give you enough context to get started with solidity and ethereum development so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you guys think go to my youtube channel or my twitter account write a tweet to me tag me and i, I I'll, I'll hope i can see many more many more people who actually learn this and i hope that everyone gets to learn this so yeah that's it for this thanks for watching and stay tuned for more see you guys Peace. All right. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you liked this one. If it was helpful, please smash the like button. Leave a comment down below if you have any other questions. You can also reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll leave my links in the description and on the screen. So yeah, looking forward to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.